All right, we got your boy Cold Name Super, and this is the time Goku and Vegeta. Stop, Melly Cooler, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Now we really gotta talk about Cooler's return. He has me weak, bro. Got cooked. Ain't gonna lie, bro. I like Cooler. I like Cooler more than Freezer, but you know, you know, it is what it is. I know this right here is more like okay, what it is. Oh. Let's fill it and stuff. They go. In the first movie and came back to be a Decepticon with Shadow Clones, basically Ultron. And the thing about that is, now if you get cooked, you got nobody to blame because it's a whole bunch of yous. You're really just gonna have to take your L's and say GG's and walk off. But shit really starts off with Goku and his crew heading off to Namek. But they look at the screen and see that someone already has their mittens on it. And look at that guy Piccolo. Look at Piccolo. And this bitch like he about to suit up. <laughs> hey, that's your boy Matt. Hey, I be watching. I be checking out Matt, yo. I like this dude store, man. Matt funny, money, Matt funny, bro. I like this young brother store, man. He's so funny to me, bro. I like his energy. This nigga crazy, bro. I like it. And I'd be just like him because Frieza and his brother are running shit on Namek like Hobie and Shaq. See, if I'm Piccolo, I'm becoming Mr. Miyagi mm -hmm. or the Namekian Batman. Like, shit, bro. He gotta have some type of legacy for the Namekians because they don't deserve this. They're literally beyond vegan. Their diet is straight water and ice, and they what can't box that? for shit. They're the definition of what, what I, I do. do? You know Cooler really a villain when he got the elderly doing the 100 meter dash. Bro out there running like it's that one SpongeBob episode where they call Texas stupid, and Sandy was out there chasing him down. Look at him. He needs a hero someone please he gets dragged in front of the namekians and one of them in the line was like that's, that's a, a great, great idea. idea fuck this walking shit hits his oh. fake ass feet and gets dragged too <laughs> so after watching his people get cooked piccolo's twin said nah fuck that takes the handcuffs with no chains and breaks out of it and look how son hit the roll up the line yeah with the pull up like that he gotta be a part of piccolo's immediate family Shit was so clean, I almost believed he was about to do something, but nah. He flies over there and this bot catches him gotcha, one-handed and he just tosses him down. His coldness was short-lived, now he in that in -in 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 Fortnite knock position. Someone get him a med kit. The bot's getting ready to thirst him, but right as he fires at him, Gohan pulls up and knocks the beam up the way, creating the smoke and getting him out of there. And this is when I knew there was gonna be W Gohan, bro. W Gohan. Gotta get you at W Gohan. Be a bunch of IG flicks in this movie for Goku. Cause when the smoke clears, his ass is just what? standing there, staring. And honestly, it was so clean, not even Krillin could ruin the moment. Look at him putting up the deuce when we know he's not gonna put in pain. For Cooler real. sitting there unimpressed because he knows he got a better intro though. Peep game. He summons the army to line up and they all spawn in left and right. And then Cooler's gonna come in and part them like the Red Sea. He's walking in and he's just straight up glistening. Woo! Look like he dipped himself. I ain't gonna lie, but when I first saw him, I was glazing Cooler, bro. When I saw him, bro, like, bro, who? Look at him. Look at him. I was glazing crazy with Cooler, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I like them. I was glazing Cooler, bro. Self in movie theater butter. Even had Piccolo, like, nah. What is that? <laughs> that luster. The time for introductions are over. They are ready for the boxing to commence. Cooler sends his army of bots to go attack. And I want you to guess out of these three who gets cooked first. We already know Krillin, bro. They already do Krillin. They be, oh. I like, man. Well, he's taking the hits, though. He's taking them hits. I'll give you a hint. He's bald and short. Piccolo and Gohan take off just fine, but when Krillin does it, they sit his ass down immediately. Yeah, the script writers are in the studio straight giggling. Knew from this point on, his ass was about to be calm. The art, the creator just said, nah, Krillin, you better catch the hand. <laughs> Relief. Not yeah, even done. Gohan, who spawned in seven yeah, years ago, got sat down like that. He's out there putting up a better performance, hitting attacks and dodging. Hey, for he real. didn't do any damage, but hey, at least he's not out there eating rocks like Krillin. They got yeah, three. man, I'm like, God, man, they're all like, bro, Krillin's sorry when it, when it comes to the movies, bro. Krillin just sorry. <laughs> on piccolo right now and there's clearly a malfunction in their programming because no way they gave piccolo three and krillin got four bodies on let's be serious today you must have mistaken brody for one punch man or something big dad go big dad go y'all already know go tama bro y'all know how i am with that bro we rock with go tama over here all day say tommy bro Stay mad, stay salty, whatever, get to go. I know they could look alike from afar, but come on now. That is simply not him. Krillin tries to- Krillin, it's not him. We just letting you know he is not him, but let's get back to it. This is not, this is not about the GOAT. Let's get back to this, though. Cook with what little screen Tommy has left, and it's not Ow. looking good. The bots who have Kawhi Leonard's personality downloaded are just looking at him with disappointment. So yeah, his performance is looking bad right now. Damn. Piccolo ain't safe either. Because the same shit happens to him, and he's just like, nah. 
and then the cameraman gets mad close to him to document that embarrassing moment. <laughs> Piccolo wanted to tell him to back up so bad. That shit had him sweating, so he had to think of something fast to get rid of the embarrassment. So he went to Old Reliable, threw off the turban and cape like it was the problem. What did I do? The camera pans to go on though, and it's looking like he's about to keep that loose right right dynamic. Go on getting smacked around with that green background is all too familiar. Krillin's also getting his shit rocked though as he crashes into the room. So Piccolo's just like, shit, I might as well join him. But he didn't get bitched or anything like go on and Krillin. He just slowly descends down. He had something to say to Krillin though. He just like, hey Krillin, not gonna lie. They're putting four on you and three on me is ludicrous. Man, stop hating. <laughs> is where Krillin internally screamed as Piccolo flies away to cook the Kawhi Leonard's. And he's out there taking multiple out at a time. Had me saying my fault OG, maybe it was the cape and turban. If that's what it takes to make a move like that, that better be a mid-game power-up animation for Piccolo and Sparky Zero. As Piccolo is cooking up, we see science at play. The simple law of motion creates more motion. And now all of a sudden they have the ability to catch a body too. Shit didn't last long though, as we see they couldn't hang. They get captured in sense away, which basically made shit easier for Piccolo. He was out there shrieking, got 30 kills without dying, so he unlocked the tactical nuke. And now that Krillin and Gohan are gone, he can unleash it. Treats the whole area like how the Avengers treat New York, and fucking boom, the whole area done. Look at the crater this man left. He absolutely made sure he didn't get dropped in this movie, I'll tell you that. But now it's time for the main course, Goku versus Cooler in that shiny rarity. It starts off with Cooler catching Goku's punch. And yeah, my boy coming in different this time. He ain't come here to play. That performance in that last ah! movie was absolutely disappointing. Man's had a whole new form just to still get Ooh. worked by Super Saiyan. They start throwing hands in an invisible elevator though. And Goku finds an opening and grabs his tail. As he throws him, he lets out a little giggle. Which causes Cooler to get enraged and start chasing him down. This was all a part of Goku's plan though. Bait him and catch him off guard. But once he Damn. hits him, he notices Cooler is not phased. And knew that smirk couldn't mean anything good. So he tried to keep that Cobra Kai mentality of striking it first, and it's clearly not working. Cooler felt bad, so he had to hit him with the stop. This isn't you. Treating his ass like Bruce Banner. He then proceeds to give him a mean three-piece combo with no biscuit, starting it off with a knee, making Goku hit the Iron Man. Then he hits him with a gut check, stretching his back out, pause, and spikes him to the ground. That boy Goku hit the floor like, Okay. When I came down. <laughs> Cooler didn't care about the pain he was feeling though. Up in the finishing move, two minutes into the fight, and throws it at him. But Goku's not dying in two minutes though, we know this. He not sorry. Uses instant transition to get up behind him, and he's posted up like the boogeyman. He starts yapping and flexing that he learned this new technique called instant transmission, and Cooler just like, oh you thought you was special? I could do that shit too. Those words had Goku perplexed. He wasn't ready to get hit with his own move. He came up and smacked the taste out of his mouth. Had Goku contemplating if he's really like that. He gets picked up and makes Cooler turn at the Madam Web audience. And Goku tries to sneak him back. And the point of this whole exchange is that they're spamming instant transmission. But shit just looks like normal Dragon Ball Z. Nothing changed. All they did was step back. And I guess whoever was writing the script understood that. So they decided to give them their own version of the Speed Force. Which is why they got this infrared look. I'm crying. They think this Flash versus Zoom. Look at Cooler. He even hitting the full Flash form. He catches up to Goku, takes him out the animation, and uses his head to break the rock in front of him. Then he tosses him away and goes up to hit him with that knee of justice. And I thought he did it to him for a second. This frame had him looking crazy. But instead, it was revealed that he caught that shit and uses it to reintroduce Super Saiyan. Even Cooler had to take a step back to admire the view. This gotta be some type of glazy. But now it's time for round two. And I'm gonna be honest, when I watched this for the first time, I was fully expecting a fifth form metal cooler to show up, but they really just didn't do it. Hopped in that rider's room and said, nah. They're boxing though, and Goku gets a clean ride in there, but again, it was ineffective. Cooler then proceeds to kick him out the frame, and look at that form, bro. Yeah, not gonna lie, don't ever invite him to a kickball game. With a form like that, he launching that shit straight to him. Even me, a retired Hall of Fame kickball player at recess can't compete with that. But yeah, Goku's flying off, and Cooler chases him down and kicks him. And then he pulls out the forbidden move, hits him with the spirit of me, pushing him through the rocks. Hey. And Goku's just like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. And he came back on a mission, keep the game face. Kua tries to block, and Goku breaks right through, severing his arm and giving him the superhero ass frame. Goku said, hold on, I ain't done yet though. I gotta hit this landing too. And rolls right into the fighting stage. <laughs> There was no time for celebration though, cause Cooler regenerates like a symbiote made out of vibranium, completely rebuilding his arm from scratch. Yeah bro, I don't want to see a universe where Dr. Zero and Cooler link up, because if they get in that lab together, 
they'd make the most OP character in history. Might even surpass Boo in what bullshit it could do. The camera pans up and we see bro is just randomly glistening again. And that's another bad sign for Goku. Catches him off guard with the TP and aims right for the stun. He started turning into Spongebob as he flips him over and seasons him. Grabbing his leg and tossing him away. Goku hits the smooth recovery though. Holding onto that attack stance like it was gonna change the outcome. Yeah, that shit ended up being a slight inconvenience. Delay Cooler's attack for one second then he's just like... <laughs> But anywho, <laughs> and gets the blast. Goku's clean with the block stones, deflecting everything and getting right up in his grill. All right, Wonder Woman. Goku did all that for nothing though, and starts to get choked out by Cooler. That boy Goku needed a hero, and thankfully Vegeta decided to get out the house in this movie because. About time, man! Put my goat in this thing. Because Goku would have been cooked, came in and kicked the shit out of him. Had his face mm. looking crazy, and he got him leaning. But the hatred was at an all-time high for Vegeta here. This cool ass intro was all we're gonna get from him. And you know what, bro? I've made my peace with that. Shit was basically over as soon as it started. Go Super Saiyan, talks some shit, runs in, and gets bopped. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't like that. I did not like that. Shit is like clockwork at this point. But you know Vegeta, man. They don't let him go down in one hit. They make him suffer and embarrass himself. He comes back in with all this energy, lands two kicks, and gets hit with the WWE take down, putting him in excruciating pain. And Goku... Hey, man. That's the GOAT, man. He taking them, he taking them hits. He taking them hits now. You can't be, hey, you can't be mad at that. That, that, that's goat right there. Couldn't sit there and watch anymore. As much as he knows Vegeta loves his ones, he just had to save him. Kicks Cooler out the way before he blasts him. And in this frame, you could really see how Cooler's a fiend. Look at him. He's already up and running to sleep Vegeta. The hatred runs deep. Not even Goku back up. He's still recovering from his last save. Cooler enters the instant transmission dimension. And we see he was really trying to get Vegeta that cartoon bump on his head. But Goku's clutch, he gets him out of the animation and has him tackled on the floor. And I'm not gonna hold hey, you, yo. this frame is looking crazy. I'm gonna need a big pause on that one, bruh. And damn, Goku's damn. really a great teammate. Back-to-back -back saves is kind of tough. If I was cooler, I'd be angry as hell because I just missed out on two kill opportunities. But guess who's the angriest out of all of them? Vegeta, the one that got saved. He just like, hey, fuck both y'all. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey man, you got hey y'all gotta put some respect on that boy, man. He ate hey, but you is about business. Goku on his 50 cent shit. They both dip out of there because clearly this man got CT. And I'm not even mad that Cooler spun the block in 0.2 seconds to kick him. He ends up punching him straight to Goku. And oh no, nah, look at how vile this frame really is, bro. Sun can't even take a regular L. Like this is really some Wait a minute, bro. let's read what this gotta be. Oh, this freezer. Nah, <laughs> hey, who's that? Shut the fuck up. Next level violation. The writers made sure he can never win a group chat argument ever again. Dang. Cooler hits him with the silent finisher, though. Sends Diddy Miss across, and it ends up in a huge explosion. Nah, not Diddy Miss. He just said thing Diddy Miss. Explosion. And after that attack, Cooler's just off in the distance, walking in slow motion. Bro thinks he's in the edit. Goku turns to Vegeta and looks at him like this. And right then and there is when it was official. His ass is getting jumped. They fly at him full speed with this power of friendship ass attack, and it breaks him into three pieces. Power of friendship. We already know what comes the power of friendships. But of course, the regeneration starts to kick in. And this is where the most unexpected thing in Dragon Ball happened. Vegeta decides to key spam him, and it actually worked. It blew the metal cooler to smithereens. This shit was almost too good to be true. They hit this, finally it's over, ass fall. But little did they know that it wasn't over. Goku, who's on like 2 HP, looks up and sees that there's another metal cooler. Alive and well. Just up there posing for the gram. They all, Damn, I'll all read walk it. another metal cooler. Alive and well. Just up there posing for the Ain't nothing cooler than revenge. Freezer. Nah, Twin, delete your account. <laughs> Look at Krillin. You're bold. Let's go. Look at my boy Jesus. Son, didn't even try. <laughs> Yo, I like these things. Goku, new belts. Send hate from the Grim. They all walk up simultaneously and they just start <laughs> blinging in the distance. Shit was scary as hell. Looking like round 200 and COD zombies. But instead, it's just a bunch of VVS coolers. I'ma be honest, at this point I was full on glazing. I was out my seat, standing and staring at the TV. I thought I was about to witness cinema. Look at how they're sliding down. Had me fully convinced this was gonna be an endgame type fight. Goku and Vegeta hit the double Super Saiyan. 
and we saw all this theatrical shit for not even one punch to be thrown. It was really just a flash and they ended up in Diddy's dungeon like bro, y'all gotta be trolling. No way y'all just pump fake the whole audience like that. And they didn't make up for it either. Now I'm not saying I watch Dragon Ball movies for the plot, but damn bro, did y'all even try? Cooler starts taking energy from Goku and Vegeta, and somehow, this big ass ship can't handle it. Look at this, this is damn near half the planet. And you're telling me it doesn't have the capacity for two Saiyans? It starts breaking down and they get free. And Cooler didn't like that one bit, so he goes full Decepticon and starts chasing after Goku. Punching him and then trapping him in wires. He's trying to turn Goku into minced meat. But then out of nowhere, a destructo disc comes along and cuts Cooler's arm off. And not for one second did I believe that hero was Krillin. We see that it's Vegeta making my hating ass right. And <laughs> not a nigga put Patrick in that bit. Cool for one right. second, did I believe I that liked it. a hero was Krillin? We see that it's Vegeta making my hating ass right, and Goku breaks free. He then takes a small yellow key ball, throws it at him, and destroys him once and for all. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you for 494k. We moving. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. God dog, man, I'm here for it all. But anyway, man. Look up on our description and all that good stuff, and let's check it out.